Hi, I'm Bob Power. We're pleased to be joined today by Gary Atkinson, CEO of the Singing Machine Company, which trades on our OTCQX best market under the symbol SMDM. Gary, welcome to the Market Center. Thank you, Bob. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us about the Singing Machine Company. What do you do? Sure. So Singing Machine Company, we are the worldwide leader in home karaoke. We basically design and distribute a full range of home karaoke products, uh, pretty much anywhere from $49 opening retail price point all the way up to $199. Um, and we're widely distributed here in the States. Uh, so Walmart, 3,600 stores nationwide, um, Target, Costco, Sam's Club, Amazon, Toys R Us, um, all, the, all the big majors here, and we're, we're expanding pretty aggressively internationally as well. Oh, so what are the uh, opportunities and the hurdles in the home entertainment sector? So that's a good question. So in terms of opportunities that we're seeing, um, the, the music, actually the karaoke music market is wide open for us right now. Um, we basically historically have always been a traditionally a hardware company, so we uh, manufacture the machines, we distribute the machines to retail, um, but we've never been a part of the sort of the karaoke music business. Um, so one of the things that we're getting into now in a pretty aggressive way is we've launched a um, online karaoke download store uh, through our partnership with Stingray, which is a company up in Montreal, publicly traded. Um, so that's given us access to about 13,000 fully licensed karaoke songs that people, our customers can come to. They can download music. We also have an app available for the iOS platform where customers can go and almost like Netflix where they pay a, a, a subscription fee and they get access to all 13,000 songs. So this holiday season, this past December, we had um, just massive, massive amounts of um, our customers coming onto the download store, coming onto the, to the mobile app that we have available. I think we had about almost a half a million impressions on the iOS app store this, this December. So um, really a wide, wide open opportunity for us there to, to sort of build in that back end subscription revenue um, mm -hmm. well after we've sold the original hardware. Thanks. Talk about your growth plans for the next six months. Sure. So, so the reason I'm here in New York this weekend is we, uh, we're just at the New York Toy Fair. Um, we're launching a brand new line of Singing Machine Kids toy products, which is new for us. We've, we've always been more of a core karaoke company, um, but what we're doing is we're, des we're expanding ourselves into the toy space. Mm -hmm. And the strategy behind that is we have these great relationships with these retailers, and we thought to ourselves, well, how do we go about expanding our shelf space? And so let's say, for instance, at one retailer where merchandise in the electronics department, we said to ourselves, well, if we already have this great relationship, why don't we try to go after the toy buyer as well? So if we can be merchandised and have, let's say, four feet of shelf space in electronics, our goal would be to try and go get four feet of shelf space in toy and thereby trying to double our, our sales with the same retailer. So it's, it actually went, it's um, been really well received by, by our retailers. Um, and we're looking to start shipping product here this, this summer. The Singing Machine Company began trading on our OTCQX best market in 2016 and was recently named to the 2017 OTCQX best 50, so congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Tell us about your experience trading on OTCQX. So it's been so far a really, really positive experience for us at Singing Machine. We upgraded to the QX market uh, back in the summer of 2016 and since that time we've seen almost uh, triple the amount of trading volume on a daily basis that uh, we saw prior to to upgrading and um, we've seen probably about a hundred percent appreciation in our stock price over that time so um, you know it's a pleasure to be recognized by by the OTC markets and um, I think upgrading has given us access to potentially you know more investors than we may have otherwise had um, and it's been, it's been a really good success story for us so far. Thanks, Gary. What else would you like investors to know about the Singing Machine Company? Sure. So I, when I talk to investors about Singing Machine, um, the way we like to talk about it is a, as a value company. So um, right now we're trading at a PE of roughly you know, anywhere from 10 to 13, which to me is still sort of speaks highly about the value that we represent. Um, through the first nine months in our fiscal year, we've done about $49 million in net sales with about a four million EBITDA. So, uh, you know, we're a company that's mature in the sense that we've been in the business for over 35 years, but we have through the, the new toy line and through some of the, the music business that we're going after, 
um, we still represent a lot of growth there. And so, um, you know, value, anytime you see a company that's, that's valued at 10 to, you know, 15 PE, uh, I think that for that value-oriented investor, we, we represent um, a, a good buy. Well, Gary, thanks for joining us at the Market Center. We wish you continued success. Thank you, Bob. Pleasure yeah. being here. Thank you. Got it. Hi, I'm Bob Power, and we're pleased to be joined by Gary Atkinson, CEO.